What's going on everybody? We are back with another peanut butter review as always and today's product is a personal favorite of mine. It is actually an Israeli product made in Israel by um, a company spelled O-S-E-M. I don't even want to try to pronounce that because I'm going to butcher it but it is called Bamba and if you're unfamiliar with Bamba what it simply is is like an American Cheeto or cheese puff flavored with peanut butter and now that might sound really weird why would i eat a peanut butter flavored cheeto but it, they're actually one of the best selling snacks in israel and they taste really good too so i decided to review these uh, what's interesting about something like this is the fact that uh, according to one report that i read they make up over 25 percent of the snack market in israel and for one product to make up that large of uh, the market is pretty crazy um, that there's um, sell that they sell well like that so um, I thought that was pretty cool um, these things aside from peanut butter they come in a couple of different other uh, seasonal variations like strawberry and stuff like that and the other thing that I found really interesting is although these are junk food and snack food they're actually not terrible for you in terms of the ingredients a lot of these products used are artificial um, preservatives and a bunch of stuff that you frankly don't want to be eating um, but these are actually interesting because they have four ingredients 49 percent peanuts corn palm oil and salt so that's it they just use four ingredients and it gives it a really authentic flavor and I think that's partially why I like it so much is because it just uses those four simple ingredients to create a good flavor uh, the only caveat with these not so good on the nutrition 160 calories per serving 10 grams of fat per serving uh, 13 carbs and then uh, 4 grams of protein so not much good nutrition the only thing that is pretty good is it, it it's less than a gram of sugar so like i said these are pretty natural despite being kind of in that junk food space which is definitely something really good uh, they are also gluten free i believe just making sure. Uh, actually, no, they're not gluten free. It contains traces of wheat, gluten, and soy. So let's open these up just to show you what they look like. So they're like a little Cheeto, kind of brownish, tannish. Um, but like I said, I've had these before. They smell like legitimate peanuts. If you smell the bag, they smell like the fresh peanuts that you just opened a jar from. And And the taste is pretty interesting too because unlike a traditional Cheeto, these almost physically melt in your mouth like you're eating a peanut butter cup, which is something else that I really like is you eat this Cheeto and you get that perfect crunch, that pillowy crunch, but the peanut butter taste is definitely there. You can taste the fresh peanuts and it almost melts, so it tastes like you're eating melting peanut butter, which is absolutely fantastic. They actually sell these in a lot of stores, even though it's an Israeli product. You can uh, find them at your local grocery store, Walmart, Target, online at Amazon, stuff like that. They're relatively cheap. They come in this smaller size bag, which fits um, one ounce, 28 grams, or they come in a, a very big party size bag for when you're feeling like a, a little fatty and you want to have a little junk food craze. Um, but I highly recommend these things. Once again, they're peanut butter flavored Cheetos. Uh, they are called Bamba um, Peanut Snack. That's the particular flavor that they call these. And I'm going to give them a five star rating. I really like this product. It's not terrible for you. It only uses four ingredients and it tastes really good. So pick up yourself a bag of these. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. And please feel free to give recommendations for upcoming products. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog for the full review. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys.